In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Merry Christmas, everyone. Welcome as we join in the celebration of the birth of the Savior, celebrating his sacrifice and his love for us in the Holy Mass. Let us gather our thoughts and let us open our minds and hearts to the love of Jesus as we call to mind our sins and the love and the mercy that has come to us in Christ. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in, in the highest, highest. And, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son of God, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You, you take are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we are bathed in the new radiance of your incarnate word, the light of faith which illuminates our minds, may also those shine through in our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of, of the prophet Isaiah. See, the Lord proclaimed to the end of the earth, Say to daughter Zion, Your Savior comes. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you shall be called frequented, a city that is not forsaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks. A light will shine on us this day. The Lord is born for us. A light will shine on us this day. The Lord is born for us. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. The heavens proclaim His justice and all people see his glory. A light will shine on us this day. The Lord is born for us. The light dawns for the just and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. A light will shine on us this day. The Lord is born for us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, when the kindness and generous love of God our Saviors appeared, not because of any righteous deed we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and the renewal of the Holy Spirit whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior. 
so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in the hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the privileges of a bishop is the fact that he has the opportunity during the Holy Mass to be able to sit when he preaches. It is a rather old custom, and it is found in the, in the scriptures all over the place. Even our blessed Lord, when he delivered the Sermon on the Mount, he invited everybody to come up the mountain and he sat down and offered his reflections for their hearing, for their teaching. I am afraid I am not making any pretensions to divinity, but uh, rather to uh, old age. And uh, it's a little bit easier to, to, uh, to sit today and uh, just try and stand without, uh, without falling over. So be kind in your charity today, please. It is, after all, Christmas. What a great thing it is for us to be able to be revelers in our blessed Lord and in the way in which he speaks to us in his coming among us. It's not just a matter of gifts and presents and ceremonies and those sorts of things. It's a matter for us to sit and to really think about what God is doing and how God is accomplishing so many wonderful things on this day and throughout our lives. Because Christmas is not just one day. Christmas is a sense of us knowing that we do have a season of grace, a season of life. And so we do, we practice that in our way of singing the songs of the day and of the season and taking care of the ways in which we are called to one another so that we may be aware of the fact that God indeed loves us and loves us so much that he calls us to himself and delivers truth, delivers faithfulness, delivers love. And it is Christmas itself that is the miracle of grace not merely just an opportunity to be nice to one another, but a matter of being joyful, having Christ within us, having the love of God surround us completely and fill us with his grace. 
So my dear, my dear people, today as we celebrate Christmas, please be aware of what grace this is and how we are called to rejoice in the gift of God's Son dwelling among us in our flesh and with us always. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Lord God, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. With faith, let us address our prayers to God, our Almighty Father. For Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elected leaders of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those whose lives are endangered because of war, poverty, abortion, euthanasia, terrorism, or other persecution, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, all life comes from you and finds fulfillment by returning to you. Grant that our prayers, then the prayers we make to Christ's name may uh, hasten to the coming of your kingdom and in the sight of the glorifying your name through, our, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day when, your mani when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight and inaugurated for us the, follower, the fullness of divine worship through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone among the, upon the eyes of our minds, so that we may recognize in him God made visible. We may be caught up in them through him in the love of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without and we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down upon a, uh, uh, sending down your, your Holy Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which is given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once again giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and, man and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our, our, always all who off our, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have, who have died in your, in your presence. Welcome them into the light of your, of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Joseph, St. Joseph, her spouse, and with all the, ble the blessed apostles and all the saints who have, be who have pleased you with their, throughout their ages, we may merit to be, to be co-heirs in eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us, us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in, a, in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your pure spirit. On your stay, we told his bounty, miserere nobis. On your stay, we told his peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart, and unite myself to you completely. 
Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, as we honor with joyful devotion the nativity of your Son, that we may come to know with, with fullness of faith the hidden depth of this mystery and to love them with ever more and more charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here, along with all the priests and members of the Curia and different people from the diocese to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for your generosity of time and prayer, and we extend that offering right back to you as we pray for you and remember you. God be with you. Merry Christmas.